Yes, with Robert Fish. Three local teams playing for state championships today at the Siegel Center. We begin with the noon game when the Highland Springs girls take on Princess Anne. Highland Springs led by Bree Justice, who is headed to Delaware State. She does a little bit of everything. Well, she's a three-year starter at point guard, and she's very involved in their offense. Now, they're not a superstar-oriented kind of team, so she's got to get everybody involved. Leads a team in assists the last three years. Going to go play college ball, obviously. So she's going to be the focal point, but Highland Springs does a good job defensively. They've got some size. It's going to be an interesting matchup with Princess Anne, obviously. It's going to be a very difficult test for Highland Springs. Princess Anne in a state championship game for the sixth year in a row. Coach Darnell Dozier winning 93% of his games. He's closing in on 500 wins and has, what, like 45 losses. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And they beat Highland Springs by 20 in the regional championship game. That's the noon game. Then at 2 o'clock, Vance Harmons and Ryko Warriors back in the championship game. Last year won the title. This year a much younger team, but they're back to take on Potomac. Well, they've got talent. The thing is that Potomac has been the odds-on favorite from the get-go, and a lot of people think that Potomac and Maury were the two best teams in the state. So Henrico has taken care of business in one part. Now they've got Potomac. It is a challenge. Potomac has Trey Porter, 6'10", going to George Mason. Randy Haynes is a very versatile guard, and he really leads the way, too. But, you know, the Warriors have got to make it up-tempo, get some turnovers, try to find a way to control that 6'10 porter inside, and they've got a chance, but it's going to be tough. Ryan Pearson back from that team last year, right. and DeMonte Buckingham was a great contributor last year, but has really elevated his game into a leadership role. He's already been offered scholarships by schools like Maryland. Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got everybody. Look at Virginia, all the state teams, VCU, Richmond, Old Dominion, Radford. I mean, you go on down the list. Virginia Tech, they're all looking at Buckingham. He can really shoot, and when he gets it going, that's going to be the thing today. I think Potomac's going to want to focus more on Pearson because Buckingham's going to get his. They need to shut Pearson down, and Henrico's going to need a third scorer, too. Then tonight, the Cosby girls play for a championship. Cosby's built quite a program out there in Western Chester. Well, they've done a great job, and they've got uh, outstanding talent, and they've played a lot of good teams, so they're, they seem to be destined to this point. I think they're moving toward that. It wouldn't be surprising to see them take this at all. It'll be a tough task, obviously, because it is a state championship game, and you don't get there by accident. But I think Cosby's well-built to take on these challenges. They've played a lot of good teams already this season and beaten a lot of good teams. So uh, we'll see good things from Cosby tonight, I think. Cosby handed Highland Springs one of its only two losses of the year, and uh, the Lady Titans will be taking on Stonewall Jackson in the 6.30 game this evening at the Siegel Center, and uh, we'll be there to cover it. High school teams playing for state championships, and uh, he's Robert Fish. I'm Gary Hess.